So, yun. So, yun, no? Mga kachilaks, nandito na naman si Sir Aban. Bago tayo magsimula, no? Kung naalala nyo pa yung last na video natin, nagkaroon tayo ng challenge, no? Yung English-only policy, no? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, dahil may nabasa ako sa isa sa mga kachilaks natin, or Chillax Nation in English, na he suggested that this. Ito, basahin, 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 basahin nyo na lang. Ito na. Yan, 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 yan. Okay, no? Yung sinabi niya doon, gagawin natin, and ngayon, datagdagan natin yung challenge. Yung challenge natin for today is, gagawin natin, English only policy rin, and try to avoid speaking, or speaking in a Filipino accent naman, yung lesson natin. So, one, English only policy, try natin, hopefully. And, second, try to avoid speaking in in a Filipino accent. What? So, kung ready ka na, let's go na. So, I remember, by the way, my teacher said that we need to open our eyes in viewing a certain specimen under a microscope. I'm gonna try it right now. Okay, okay, oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, oh my god. It's an amazing morning by the way and welcome to my channel and I am your teacher Sir Aban and today we will be discussing about how to use the microscope properly. So by the way, before we start, if you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, please like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you are updated for the latest videos that I will be releasing in the future. So if you are ready, I believe, let's go. Before we start, I'm here in our science laboratory and today I'm gonna be here and to discuss to you and because it has a proper lighting and at the same time it's conducive for teaching you guys the topic, the microscope and how to use it properly. So to start with, this is by the way an example of a compound microscope. As you can see, this one is a compound microscope that has a luminator or a light source. And if, for example, in your school, I don't know if in your school, you don't have this type of microscope, you have another version of the microscope, which is like this. Wait a minute. I'm gonna get it. Okay, I'm gonna get Okay. By the way, guys, and this is an example of a compound microscope that has a mirror on it. Ayan, no? There is a mirror, right? So, the mirror, this one, as you can see, there is no light source. But if your microscope at home, at home, wow, or in what? school that you are using has a mirror, then the only thing that you need to do is to find the light source. So, let's begin. So, I have here, okay, I have here a microscope, right? A compound microscope. Last time, I'm, I mentioned that if you will be using a microscope, make sure that if you want to transfer it from or relocate it from one place to another, you need to hold the arm or the handle using your hand and then the other hand should be placed under, right? So that's the time that you need to it's now if for example you will be only using one hand to transfer oh, it no. then it's kind of very dangerous it's very dangerous okay if you will be using your your hand only one hand in transferring your microscope from one place the best thing that you need to do is first number one if you want to transfer the microscope number one check whether there is a there is a specimen right if there's a specimen make sure that the clips are holding it and second now th this is the time for you to 
place your one hand on the ano place your one hand on the arm by holding it under the table. So you're ready to transfer, right? So wrap right now. Another thing that you need to remember, guys, if you will be using a microscope. Now, make sure that the objectives are clean. Clean in the sense that they are there are no dust on the objectives, right? So there's no dust on the objective. And the next thing that you need to do is now place first the, uh, the specimen. Next is set the objective to the scanner sir where is the scanner the scanner he is here this one is the scanner the red this one the objective or the shortest objective among all the objectives okay <laughs> the shortest objective among all the objectives and then the second longest will be the low power and the longest wow the longest oh, the longest yeah. is the high power so ready let's start now first thing that you need to do please make sure there's a clicking sound Bam. okay there's a clicking sound right there's a clicking sound next thing that you need to do is to turn on the light if you are using a microscope that has a luminator on it in it on it in it in it <laughs> Okay, the next thing that you need to do is turn on the illuminator. If your microscope has an illuminator, okay. Next is try to view, use opening your both of your eyes and try to examine. If you see already a specimen here, a certain color or whatsoever, then first try to focus or move, adjust, move, adjust whatsoever. The course adjustment. This one. This one. Okay. Now next. After doing it. Okay. You will be seeing here a certain image. If the image is very clear to you now. Try to adjust. Move the slide. Okay. Move the slide. And if it's clearly visible for you. Or the resolution is very nice for your eyes. Then that's the time to call your teacher and tell him or her that you focus the specimen properly. I'm gonna show it to you guys. This specimen, by the way, this specimen is called the stem of a wood dicotyledon. Again, the specimen is called the stem of the wood dicotyledon. Okay, I'm gonna show to you guys the image under the scanner. Guys, this is the image. By the way, I'm I'm in, I'm struggling in focusing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm about to see now. Oh my goodness! Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. You see the blue? Wait, the blue thingy. Say wait. I'm in the I uh, know I'm in the process of now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this one, okay. Yeah. This one is the image under the I uh, know under the scanner. So wait. Yeah. Under the scanner. So the next thing that you need to do if you have a clear image of the specimen under the scanner and then you want to zoom in more the specimen, that's the time to switch objective and use the second objective which is the low power. To know if you are already in the second scanner, you should hear a clicking sound. Right? So in the clicking sound, that it will tell you that uh, you're now using the second objective, which is the low power object. Next thing that you need to do is, you should not, you should not, guys, adjust the course adjustment. This is the time for you, my dear 
shellax nation to use the fine adjustment because why it's because you have already an image right you adjusted already the course adjustment and you saw a clear image of the specimen under the scanner right so no need for you to adjust again the course adjustment so guys what will happen if you will be adjusting the course 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 uh, this course adjustment right there is a big tendency that you will lose the image that you set here using the course adjustment so this is the time for you to use the fine adjustment so wait so okay here is the image under the the low power <laughs> objective <laughs> of So by the way, before we proceed in viewing the specimen under the high power microscope and hopefully we can still view the specimen on it, by the way, the specimen is called the tissue. And under the tissue, it's, it's composed of several cells. And speaking of cells, my dear Chillax Nation, we will be discussing also cells in the future. So if you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, Please like, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification bell so that you are updated of the lessons that I will be uploading related to the cells. So I believe we are ready to use now the high power objective. By the way, if you are about to use the high power objective, guys, Make sure that the first thing that you need to do is to switch from low power to the high power objective and next let you need to hear again the clicking sound and now after hearing the clicking sound or switching it to the high objective high power objective you will be seeing now still colors or stained or stained in your specimen or the stain or color blue for in our specimen the blue stain or green or why don't no i don't know what color is it is i am color blind <laughs> now i'm not good in naming colors of the year. okay and also you will be seeing still seeing uh, an image a blurry image of the specimen and also guys please do not adjust or use the course adjustment the course adjustment is good for the scanner only. So if you're switching it to the scanner and then now this is the time for you to use again the fine edge. And you will be seeing now a more zoomer. <laughs> what? <laughs> a zoomer? What? Uh, a more clear and more, we can say, closer image of the specimen which is the stem of wood dicotyledon okay here will be the image of the specimen under high power objective <laughs> and then if you're done if using the microscope right viewing the microscope you should not leave the microscope like this and then you go outside no 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 okay uh, after viewing the specimen under the microscope and your teacher will be asking you to return it the best thing that you need to do in returning the microscope is number one you need to place it again back to the scanner back to the scanner guys and then adjust this is the time for you to lower and you can can you see lower the or adjust the course adjustment move it then remove the slide and place the slide by the way this one is the slide that we used so yeah this one and, I and then as you can see here that there is a uh, it is color green or blue because ideally speaking when you cut a stem it's not like this it's not color green or blue 
you need to put a staining agent so that you can see the image or the cell or the tissue under the microscope clearly. So that's the reason why scientists put staining agent like this. Yeah, especially those specimens that are clear or transparent. They, you need definitely you need to put staining agent in order for you to see the specimen. After that, remove the plug. If you are using a microscope that has a luminator, sir, what about if, for example, our school or our teacher asks, uh, uh, we use a microscope like this. So same principle or same instruction there. You need to place the, the microscope there and then make sure that this, the end position the mirror like this. By the way, no, before we end our video, and I hope you had fun and you learned something, I hope that you learned something, please give a reaction towards the video and comment down what you learned, what you observed, what you noticed, or even your suggestion, or even better, your idea for the next challenge, for my next video. So if you have that in mind, please comment it below. So to end this, okay, Sir Ivan, by the way, and please, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It will help my channel to grow at the same time to spread positive vibes or good vibes <laughs> while learning science. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it, guys. So if... Basta yun na lang. Okay yun na. Yeah, Nahirapan ako dumudugo na ilong ko, no? So, if... Wala na pala akong masabi. So, yun. Maraming salamat na lang, guys. And see you on our next vlog. <laughs> Peace!